Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are going to be watching the live action version of Aladdin, and I'm very excited about this. Uh, I love the original, the animated version. Um, I was actually suffering from depression from ages 12 to around 27, and my vices were not drugs or alcohol, they were just watching the same TV shows and movies over and over and over again. So uh, there was one year where I watched Aladdin a uh, hundred times, another where I watched uh, Mulan a hundred times, and uh, I watched the first season of Castle 20 something times before the second season came out. Um, everything's fine now, no more depression. I would largely credit uh, therapy for that, um, almost 90 something percent of that credit goes to that. But um, it does mean that that time made me, I, I should know the original Aladdin pretty well, so it'll be interesting to see what the differences are and uh, recognize them. And I've heard Will Smith is the genie, so um, nobody can replace Robin Williams, but uh, Will Smith is very charming, so it'll be interesting to see his take on it. And I'll probably have to sing along with the songs, I won't be able to stop myself. Unfortunately, they won't make it to YouTube just because um, of copyright issues. Uh, in the past, any Disney songs that I've posted um, have gotten the video taken down right away. So, um, if you want to check out those songs, they're going to be in the full reaction over on Patreon in the link in the description below. And yeah, I'm excited for this. Hope you are too. Let's get started. Oh, imagine a land. Oh. It's a far away place where, where the caravan, caravan camels roam. Stop on by, hop a carpet and fly to another Arabian night. That's what you wanted, right? Uh, thank you. Okay, and an apple for your troubles. Nice. He just grabbed it back. I'm not leaving without my bracelet. You mean this bracelet? <laughs> Swing ahead of the sword. I, I steal only what I can afford. That's everything. Let's not be too hasty. Rather tasty. To live, gotta steal the eat. Otherwise, we'd get along wrong. A boo. The cat was right. He likes you. A puss puss. A puss puss. A puss puss puss. Can I help you? See. Now. I came back to return your bracelet. My bracelet? Where is it? On your wrist. What? How? Not bad. The monkey stole it. He's your monkey. He's still just a monkey. <laughs> Who ordered the tea? For you, Princess Jasmine. Your Majesty. Why are you being weird? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is on his heels, literally. I see it. I see it. Oh, great. Excuse me, boy, where's your boss? Help me <laughs> out here, where's your boss? How long have you been trapped in here? A thousand years. A thousand years. A thousand years. <laughs> okay, is it me, or does like everything surprise you? Monkey. Applause, applause, applause. So, how does it work? The whole song was the, the, the instructions. <laughs> I can't make anybody love anybody or bring anybody back from the dead. Feel free to interrupt me anytime. We had a connection. Did they? She is smart. <laughs> kind. So get on out in that square. Oh my god. <laughs> Camels 
And spoons, tiny spoons. Spoons. How do they make them spoons. that tiny? What do you hope to buy with this expensive? Ooh. You. Wow. Are you suggesting I am for sale? Of course. Not. No, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Say something. Act natural. Hi. Oh, wait, 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 wait. See, genies don't really have friends. I thought you said you never had a friend like me. No. I said you never had a friend like me. <laughs> These are from me to you. Could you excuse me one moment? <laughs> Wait, just... Aww. Sometimes you just have to take a risk. <gasps> <laughs> I think this is one of the most nostalgic. Oh man. <laughs> I like this a little better. It pushed him up, but they shared the kiss willingly. Fascinating. Fascinating. Smoke bomb. No. Your honor and integrity will never again be questioned here in Agrabah. Uh, A more noble and sincere young man has never graced the chambers of this palace. Well, uh, wow. I, I would be honored <laughs> to call you my son. <laughs> if that's true, the more you gain by pretending the less you're actually going to have. 10,000 years, I have never once, ever, called a master a friend. You are breaking my heart here, kid. You're breaking my heart. Dini, no, hey, come on. Well, that was hey. easy. But it's up to you. Will you stand silent while Jafar destroys our beloved kingdom, or will you do what is right? Arrest the vizier. Rub the lamp. So this is how. Rub the lamp. Isn't our Prince Ali? No! No! You okay? No. Do you accept the Sultan to be your husband? Come on, woman. I do not. Holy crap. A whole new world. <laughs> That's cute. Oh. You're either the most powerful in the room, or you're Ooh. nothing. You always be second. Oh! I wish to become the most powerful being in the universe. 
lot of gray area in that wish, but uh coming right up. <laughs> Phenomenal cosmic powers, but in itty bitty living space. You're coming with me. You're coming with me. I'm sorry to the both of you, especially you. I hope you find what you're looking for. Here's what I'm thinking: Aladdin, warrior prince. <laughs> you like it? I wish to set you free. What? Whoa. Mike, tell me, tell me to do something. Uh, get me some jams. Get it yourself. <laughs> Get your own jam! <laughs> you. When do we leave? Also, I want children. Yes, tell <laughs> them. <laughs> also, Leon I want children. Omar, three years apart. You shall be the next sultan. <laughs> Stop, thief! Your sultan commands it. <laughs> Does that mean I'm in trouble? Only because you got caught. <laughs> Alright guys, those songs, oh, that was so much fun. Um, I'm gonna try and finagle some songs into this video, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to, I'll be able to. Um, but yeah, I think the film's strong points are definitely definitely the music numbers. Uh, I tried to sing along at first, but realized the songs were like just different enough that I couldn't at times. Uh, there were some still some like really classic parts though, like um, like some of the some of the lyrics were kept the same, and I appreciated it. And, like they they were masterful when they were written, and I can see the reason for changing it up a little bit though. Um. The ending, I really thought that uh, the ending would take place at, in Aladdin's home and not just like outside the palace. Felt like it would have been a, the perfect place to end the film, but uh, it was an interesting choice for her to stop him right outside the gates. And yeah, for this most part, I really liked some of the changes. Uh, making Jasmine ready for the role as the next Sultan and eventually achieving that is super interesting. Um, like in the animation, she was fighting for her own freedom to choose who she wants to marry, and in this film, we see her caring for the people, wanting to lead them in a better way, and that's much more compelling. Um, and then fighting back against a society that would keep her, for lack of a better word, speechless. Uh, that song itself, I uh, love the message, especially given the type of sexism that's um, present in the Middle East, which Agrabah is like a fictional parallel to. And I thought this speechless song was really good, but I don't know that it fits in with all the other songs in the movie that were written decades ago. Um, it's possible that it's just because I've seen the original so many times and it just sticks out, uh, so that Speechless like sticks out to me. Uh, maybe people who didn't see the original but watched this won't feel that way. Um, I'd actually be willing to bet that that might be the case. And one thing that I kept thinking during the movie, uh, the, the actress who plays Princess Jasmine, uh, Naomi Scott, she actually looks quite a bit like Melissa Fumero, um, Melissa Fumero, aka Amy Santiago in uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I think it's their eyes. Uh, I don't know if I'm imagining that or let me, guys, let me, let me know if you guys think um, the same thing or look it up and see. And uh, then when Jafar catches sight of Aladdin sneaking into the palace, I got some serious Uncharted 4 vibes uh, just climbing around. It was a lot of fun to watch. And yeah, the fact that the genie and Dahlia both fell in, uh, both both fell for each other is really cute. Um, yeah, it's a, a little nice little um, extra storyline that wasn't in the original that I actually pretty much uh, I appreciated it a lot. And uh, I think some of the funniest parts of this film uh, there's like a lot of extra humor or that wasn't present in the original. Um, Aladdin being so incredibly inept 
when it came to his first meeting with uh, Neo, uh, with Princess Jasmine as Prince Ali. What do you expect to buy with all these expensive things? You! Oh my god. And I, I loved Bull Smith as the genie. Um, his reactions to Aladdin being just ridiculous. He was just like, poo, wow, wow. Um, Jasmine was like, oh, you're saying you think I can be bought? Of course! Nah. <laughs> uh, Freaking Aladdin. I don't think I've seen that actor in anything before. I don't think I've seen any of these actors in anything before besides Will Smith, obviously. Um, and yeah, they were all pretty good. Like very, I would say very good actors. Um, and I think Jafar was the one who was like most different than his animated counterpart. Uh, the Sultan was also pretty different. He was also like a, like a lovable, like playful, like pudgy uh, Sultan, whereas he's more serious in this version. But I feel like Jafar, just like his entire demeanor, like animated Jafar felt snake-like in everything he did uh, to match his um, scepter. I, mean, I believe it's called scepter. Is it a scepter or is it a cane? I don't know. Um, whereas this one in this in the live action version, he felt more like a weasel. I don't know why weasel came, comes to mind, but it just, it just feels like he's not snake-like. He feels, I don't know, he feels more vulnerable than the original Jafar. Um, we still get the same message though, the pathological liar can still get the girl, makes sense, right? Um, not a great lesson for kids, but he did apologize, he did walk away thinking he didn't deserve anything to do with this. Um, but yeah, it's always been ambiguous what area Agrabah is based on, like specifically, and I wondered, like, I wondered if it was a good, um, if the dancing was a good representation of the area, so I looked it up. Um, I looked, I googled it and like, sadly, people from the Middle East, from India, have been saying that it's inauthentic to the region and that also the director has no idea what he's doing with the dance choreography and like a use of space in the film when with the dance. Um, the first part is just sad that it's inauthentic um, and the second part, looking back on it, I can see what they mean. Like, when watching it originally, I was like, oh, like this is just what the movie needed. Um, because I thought that this was going to be an accurate representation of, um, and like an infusion of culture, but um, yeah, it wound up being a westernized type of that dance, which is a little sad. Uh, would have loved to see more authentic dancing uh, from that area, and yeah. Um, but overall, I mean, I love the movie. It's very similar to the. It's, it, there's enough of the original in the animated version to that comes over, uh, that bleeds through here. And the story is largely unchanged. They've got some little extra details. Uh, Jafar originally being a thief, that was really interesting. And you would think thieves are better at noticing when they're getting they're getting stolen from, but Aladdin gets uh, the lamp taken away from him. Will Smith as the genie is pretty interesting. Uh, he's got his own manner, little mannerisms that are really funny. But yeah, it's interesting to see a live action version of this film. Um, there are a lot of things that I was that have been ingrained in my brain from the animated version that didn't make their way into this version. Um, I don't know, just some of the like some some, some things that could only be um, pulled off in animation, like the in some of the songs where I don't know, Genie like pulls himself through his hand and it's like spinning. I don't know if you, know, you guys know what I'm talking about, but yeah. Um, I'm I'm wondering how many people will see this as the first Aladdin film they've seen, and I'm curious what their experience is like and how they would uh, react to Aladdin the animated version uh, when it come when it came out if they saw it like after seeing this version. Um, I mean, Robin Williams is iconic; you can't replace that. But uh, I'd say Will Smith did a good job. Uh, there were a lot of just funny moments that. Yeah, there were a lot of funny moments that I really enjoyed. Overall, I think uh, this was a good ad adaptation, and I loved the way they modernized it a little bit. Um, I think the biggest thing I would have loved loved if this film uh, had been more authentic with its dances. Uh, again, I'm not sure. I think I'm not sure what region they say this is like based on. It's either the Middle East or India, but I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I, I should look more into actually that. Uh, look more into that actually but uh still love the film i cried at the end of the whole new world song that was 
wonderful as always um i'm actually sure i'm not sure like I, I think i would actually i think i might actually prefer this version over the animated version um they're actually no there are actually parts of both that i enjoyed um but yeah it's interesting to see how things have progressed I, there are some other live action films that i'm not sure i'll check out aladdin i've heard is actually a very good one uh i've heard was it cinderella i think i heard cinderella's was really good or i think it was cinderella um, I actually haven't seen either Cinderella's and like the animated or the live action one, uh, though I know the general story, obviously. Um, and yeah, I recently learned that there are like direct to DVD, direct to VHS uh, films for the original animated Aladdin. So I'm actually curious about those. I don't know if they're any good. Uh, do you guys think I should watch them? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, and also let me know what you thought about this, this film um, and how... It compares to the original, or maybe if this is your first time watching it, let me know um, if you how you enjoyed it, or if somehow you've seen this film first and then watched the animated version. Let, I'm really interested to know what your th thoughts are. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to watch the full reaction, hopefully I, I was able to get some songs into my YouTube reaction. Hopefully, but if not, uh, you can check them out in the full reaction uh, on Patreon in the link in the description below. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye friends.